Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Castle Lord David, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Digimon World 3. Now that we have talked to Lisa about the, uh, about the resistance, now is when the, uh, auction will start. So yes, I'm very sorry. <laughs> now let me see, there's another auction that happened sometime, sometime after that. Okay, yeah. That's uh, a little bit later on. But yeah, we'll go and get this auction out of the way. Then we'll go right back into uh, Amaterasu's West Sector. Alright, there we go. But yeah, it sucks. I actually missed the... Uh, that other auction, so I won't be able to uh, do the montage. So, yeah, sorry about that. Now's your chance. Finally, our main item. Ronin Helmet, admired by all members. This Kotemon exclusive helmet will start at 7,000 bits. Damn, it's starting to get pretty expensive. How high will it go? 8,000 bits. 8,300 bits. 8,600 bits. Hmm, 8,700 bits. Hmm. Yes, at 8,700. All right then, 8,700 bits. Can't beat that, huh? Wow, 8,700 bits. Anyone above 8,700 bits? Seems like there's no one else. Ronan Helmet is sold at 8,700 bits. Congratulations to you over there. I'm transferring the item to your satellite now. Yeah, I got the Ronan Helmet. Okay, I got a pretty cool item, so let's try it out. I'ma try it out. No, I'm not. I don't even have Kotemon. So now that the auction is done... Now we're gonna go all the way back to Amaterasu West Sector. So we're gonna go on a bit of a grind. At least get Imperial German up a lot much farther. I did heal up right. Okay, yeah, I did. <clears throat> it's good to be on the nights off now. This week was actually kind of rough. It's it's just uh, making me uh uh. I mean, I know I'm not going to be staying at working at Walmart for the rest of my life. I mean, hell no. I mean, why would you want to work at Walmart for the rest of your life? Unless you've really got nothing else you can do. I mean, but me, I'm just trying to at least get some job experience and just uh, give me some more money so I can uh, probably all have to go back to college. Because, uh, uh, just get my bachelor's or, I mean, if there was a way for me to move, I can uh, work at this, uh... Institute that is, uh, well, not work as of right now, but enroll in this institute that is a bit like about 50 minutes away from here. It's quite a long drive. But anyway, it's a video, it's actually a video game designing institute. It's actually pretty cool. I got a, I took a, a tour of it back on, uh, uh, June the 11th. It was actually a really awesome place. Really awesome. Oh, come on, you stupid Kawagamon. Oh, fuck you. Uh, well, anyway, uh, it didn't just have a, a video game uh, editing studio or just play just different rooms where you can edit games on computers or by drawing and stuff. They actually had a, a voice acting studio. It was actually freaking awesome. I've actually wanted to do a bit of voice acting on my own. Imperial German level 10 and nothing. But yeah, it was so cool. Oh my god, as soon as I get out of it, I run into a Digimon. Get out of town. Anyway, um, it was actually a little studio to where you can do voice acting and stuff like that. It was so awesome. Actually, I wanted to do a... Uh, that's something I want to do is... Uh, um, something to fall back on, just in case if I can't work up there. Because the bad news is, since I took a tour up there... Um, oh, come on. Uh... Yeah, that's not fair. Well, anyway, since I took the tour up there, it's so expensive to enroll up there. 
and there's absolutely no guarantee. Uh, there's no guarantee, it just depends on how good I do and uh, to where I'll actually get a job working at the Institute, but uh, yeah, it's no guarantee. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the scary part. That is the scary part about it. Oh, you're on level 46. Yay! Okay, I just, uh, trying to make sure that my, uh, video's not lagging, because it looked like it was for a second. Uh, but anyway, um, voice acting was actually, uh, something I could do is to, uh, fall back on. I mean, I probably may have just a little bit of experience to where I could probably be a decent voice actor, but I need to do some more, uh, that's why, uh, I'm having to go to college, because I've already got my, uh, associate's degree. But then again, I'm gonna have to take redo some courses because uh, some of the courses were actually kind of tough. Uh... Oh come on, dude! Because some of the courses I didn't get very good grades, or uh, the grades I was wanting to get, because I was having to deal with work. And uh, the thing with the assignments I was taking, uh, they were all time. They were mainly timed assignments, and I just hate how, uh, um, like if you take a test on a certain subject and uh, or a certain chapter, and something that or a question that uh, you have not even done like your homework over, and it appears on your and it appears on your test. It just feels like it's uh, either a bit more in depth of the uh, subject you were going through, or it's just, it just seems like that it was just from a completely different chapter. Well, that's college for you, because I kept getting screwed by that uh, by a question that didn't even appear in the homework or what from what I've learned from the chapter. It just pisses me off. It's a shame on how they don't keep their stuff organized, in my opinion. I mean, maybe it was because maybe it was a bit more in-depth, but all the uh, techniques that I've learned, I had like a solve something from the chapter that I've learned, and it doesn't apply to uh, getting one of the answers. It just, uh, it annoyed me. And then I'm going to have to take my uh, SAT. So that's another reason why I'm going to have to save, uh, get that money. Got to take the SAT, too. I mean, it's amazing on how I can actually, uh, oh my god, 4,000 damage, oh, i already seen that. Uh, it's amazing on how possible that some, uh, uh, some students can go into a, uh, uh, like a university with a low GPA, somewhat low GPA, because, uh, I mean, you just gotta get, like, a really good SAT score on a, uh, application essay on there. You gotta get all those really good if you're to make it in there. I mean, it just brings out, uh, just brings out the, uh, what you can, what you're capable of. I mean, because it's just, um, sometimes it's kind of hard to, uh, I mean, it's really difficult. Yeah, for real. It's really difficult to, uh, uh, try to keep focused and, uh, get, um, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get confident in doing your schoolwork and, when you're having to deal with work like mine, it's really tough. I mean, if you're working overnights, you would definitely agree with me. I mean, if I wasn't working, I would definitely be more confident in my schoolwork. But uh, it's just like I said, those assignments were timed, and I only had like three hours to complete the uh, uh, three hours to complete the homework assignment, and one hour to complete the test complete the test of that subject, so it really pissed, or, or chapter or whatnot, really pissed me off. But anyway, um, I probably, as me, in my opinion, I probably could make a good voice actor, because, uh, um, probably because of the experience of having a, talking behind a mic, or a headset, for, for a couple years, that's probably some experience. Uh, People actually think I'm quite hilarious. I mean, I appreciate for those that actually think I am. And you may, I mean, it just seems like how I'm talking and maybe thinking I'm not, I probably wouldn't make a good voice actor. I mean, I mean, it's just that I probably could, but I just need to try to keep up the flow with my talking, like uh, learning different techniques and knowing the secrets of acting, like on theater. And I've acted a couple plays uh, in my past. I've done a couple plays, but... Uh, it's just the thing is I couldn't, uh, I had to deal with the class, the, like the core classes and some of the classes I had to try and take for, to head towards my primary, my, like my first job, which was of course the video game designing 
and I just really didn't have the opportunity or have the chance to take like theater or or anything like that. So the only the only chance I have was uh, is uh, is a college. So that's the only way I can uh, actually take a theater class. I mean, I just want that's just uh, actually a pretty good job to fall back on that I can probably do just in case if I can't work at that institute. <clears throat> I mean, but yeah, I mean, with some improvements, I probably could make a good, good actor. Just gotta try to figure out how to keep the flow of my talking and just improve on them. Just a ball hair away from going down. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I mean, some of you may notice that uh, I've actually done a... Um, for some of you that don't know, I'm actually a part of a, uh, a podcast group that uh, if you guys uh, check out the channel of the uh, uh, my crew channel, the crew XBL, I'll put, that, put a link down in the description also. I need to start doing that besides my second channel. Well, anyway, I'm part of the crew, which uh, some of you may know, The Schwantz 27. I'm sure some of you really do know him uh, just from his stuff. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm with him. Uh, as a little crew that we do and normally we sometimes we do uh, podcasts so that's another reason uh, why I probably could have the experience needed and uh, we get a couple laps fuck you Raramon <laughs> like I'm getting a couple laps myself ha ah, fuck you I evaded your attack <laughs> yep I mean I just rather do voice acting where it's basically everything is off but uh, there's no limits to what you can say behind the behind the mic I mean, like, mainly what you see in anime and animes and stuff. I mean, I probably could make a kick-ass anime character. Maybe, like, a villain or maybe a good guy that just seems suited with a low voice such as myself. And I've shown quite a bit of emotions, like, um, quite a couple times. That's just, that's the, uh, trick. That's the, uh, that's what they're looking for in voice acting. Most of the time, anyway, is to how their ability to show emotions. I mean, I probably could. I mean, I just, uh, it's gotta know the improvements of acting. Speaking of acting, it's really sad to hear that, uh, Robin Williams has died. To me, he's one of the greatest actors of all time, so rest in peace, Robin Williams. You will definitely be missed. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just gonna be, um, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. That really just shocked the he heck out of me when I first heard that Robin Williams died. As soon as I got on, uh, as soon as I heard, looked at it from Twitter, I was just shocked that uh, Robin Williams, R R R Williams, damn, I cannot talk, that Robin Williams has been was dead. I was, I was like, what? I, mean, I was about to go off. <laughs> Get out of here, Metal Adamon. But yeah, that's definitely a really sad day. Yesterday, really sad day. Come on now. Metal Adamon's starting to become a bit of a bitch. Oh, crap. Yep. Good thing I got Mega Heal. Yep, heals a lot of HP. Back at full health, sucker. Come on, man. Come on! No fair! How come his attacks hit and mine don't? Thank you! Sit on your back, dude! Jeez. I showed quite a bit of emotion right there. <laughs> do, 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 do. So now we're going to be able to go into the city. Since we got help from the Resistance. And Lisa, of course. Oink, oink. You. But anyway, if we come up here... The path is open. Let's go to Baihu City. And of 
course, uh, we can access a shop, we can save and whatnot. But we'll do all that later. Now we are in the Baihu Dome. So now we're just going to go to the same place and fight the city chief. The Baihu city chief. Are you the Baihu chief? That's right. What do you want? Give me the white ID pass that you have. I see. <laughs> no matter what you do, victory will be ours. Now it's time to learn your lesson. Kind of looks like he's carrying a lightsaber right there. All right, his first Digimon is Rockmon. Really? We just fought this guy. Uh, the last part, anyway. The previous party wasn't even that tough. Okay. Scratch that. Double guard, of course. Yep. Every time you fight Rockmon, you're going to see him use that a lot. That's what makes it annoying. Again, dude. Get the hell out of here. I mean, come on. Thank you. It's not going to do a lot, though. You have 297. Wow. You must have a crap load of health. That only did 297 on him. Let's see what the regular attack does. Not gonna, not a whole lot, I suppose. 181. Damn. Wow, 517. Yes, good. I hit him. Good. Wow, I didn't really. Yep. Rockmon superior defense. Oh my god, dude. He's already pissing me off. He's already starting to piss me off a bit. Good thing he does a bit that much. Damn it! Good thing he does that much uh, damage, though. Heal myself. Keep hitting me, I'll just heal right back. Come on, man! Sit down. 258. That... That defense, though. Yes! Good. Score. Okay, he's about to go down. One mechanic... If I hit this, that should do it. Okay, he should be down. Sit down, Rockmon. Dang. Alright, his Rockmon's defeated. Next Digimon is... Griffinmon. Eh, not too bad. Not too tough. Right? Oh, Sylph Storm. Um, I forgot about that move. Oh, 361? Never mind then. That eh, wasn't too bad. Come on, dude! Sylph Storm again. Jeez. Okay, I gotta heal myself again. Yay, physical attack. I don't think we've ever seen this. Yeah, he just shoots a little hypno laser from his horn. Come on, man. Get hit. <laughs> this guy is already starting to annoy me. Okay, Griffin Mon. Time for you to get hit. Thank you. 632, geez. Yep, it's amazing how much health the boss Digimon will have. Like, take the Wild Griffinmon, for instance, he didn't have that much health. But this one, damn it! He has a he has much more. Oh my god! Come on, man! Thank you! Come on! Oh, crap. Oh. Red health, that's okay. That's okay. <sighs> Dang it. Oh well. I'll go ahead and heal myself, no problem. At least I won't get worked up by his last Digimon's attack. Yep, look at that. Went from 500 health back to full health. That's the beauty of Mega Heal. That's the beauty of it. 
Sit down, Gryffindor. All right, his last Digimon is Abidramon Two, Pink Abidramon. That is. This is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. 706. Yep. Come on. Yes. That hit him. That's gonna be good damage right there. Wow. I thought it would be. Damn. Uh. I think I'll just keep countering its attack because he seems he's pretty fast. And I really don't want to jinx a critical hit on me. I really don't want him to. If I can just keep hitting the counterattacks, he'll be down in no time. 706. If I just keep hitting the counterattacks, of course he would evade it. I want him to uh, get his second straight attack out of the way, so I won't have to deal with that, worry about that. Because I think he can be quite fast. From what I can remember. Come on, dude! Yep, there it is. Alright, there's the second attack. And he evades it again. Damn, man! Like I said the past couple times, this dude is pissing me off. Thank you for getting hit. I don't think even one more one more uh, counter attack will even put him down. Jeez, not even that put him down? Just a ball hair away! Come on, man! Oh well, <laughs> I'll take that. Well anyway, the Baihu City Chief is defeated. Sit down. 757 experience. I will take that. Imperial German level 15. Can load tech. Mega heal. That's what I'm talking about. 1450 bits. That's what I'm talking about. Now everyone can use the mega heal. Everyone in my partner, my uh, Gilmon Battle Digivolutions can use mega heal now. That's what I'm gonna do. You see that? Don't mess with me. Fucking right, doggy. No one ever wants to mess with me. I'm a fucking badass! Huh? Is this? You know what it is. Yeah, I got the white ID pass! One left to go. Let's hurry. And suddenly he just, poof, vanished into thin air. Well anyway, now that we defeated the Baihu City Chief, we're done here. Whoa. But what I want to do is, uh... Um... Oh. Oh, come on now. Okay, good. Looked like my game was freezing for a second. Oh, jeez. I hope it did not do... I hope it didn't freeze the game, but oh well. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load Mega Heal. Uh, Digivolve. Load Technique. Period, Jermaine. Mega Heal. Alright. Got Mega Heal loaded, so hey, everyone. If I ever switch to a different Digimon, I can use Mega Heal anytime I want to in battle. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, rest up. Yeah, we're already past 20 minutes. Already. But this is a good place to stop right here. Because we're going to be in for quite a tough... Uh, uh, we're going to be in for a bit of, more of a grind. Because now we're going to go to the north sector. We're going to have to go to the north sector in the next part. But this was a good, uh, this was a good part. I mean, I got a, got a really good talk in, talking about, uh, my jobs, my careers, and what I want to do, like, what acting. I mean, but like I said, I mean, just how, I mean, I make people laugh, even though sometimes it makes me think I don't, can't really make myself laugh sometimes, but, uh, still, people think I'm funny, despite me, uh, talking in such a low voice, but I, I kept getting comments and messages saying, hey, wow, dude, you're funny, and stuff like that. You're so hilarious, man, and... I mean, it's just that, it's just that, that just gave me a bit of a sparkle right there. Just those comments right there just gave me a bit of a sparkle. And sometimes I laugh at my own jokes too. So that, that's even a bigger sparkle. But, well, hopefully that all comes up. That comes to me in the future. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of our Let's Play of Digimon World 3. And I will see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later.
Take it easy.